My name is Miriam from Harmony Science Academy High, and I am doing the PBL Level 2 project, the Blue Bottle Reaction. Coming into the project, I will tell you about the history of where it all began. Chemical reactions all started from alchemy. The origin of alchemy was Alexandria, Egypt. During this time period, it was a colony of Greece. The Egyptian alchemist Zosimos of Panopolis wrote the oldest known books of alchemy in circa 300 AD. He wrote many books and was looked upon as the greatest alchemist. This is also the time period of the beginning of chemistry. During the 14th century, many people back in the day thought of alchemy as magic. Many of them were just looking for a better connection to God. They even had their labs set up to look like temples. Ministers were forbidden to practice alchemy. This was the era of witch hunt. And alchemists were often viewed as magicians and sorcerers. In addition, there was fake alchemists whose only objective was to turn base metals into gold. It was not only until the 16th century when Paracelsus made the connection between alchemy and magic breakaway. Paracelsus and others began promoting the experimental aspects of alchemy. Later in the 17th and 16th century, people who studied alchemy had a good reputation and were now called scientists. Project, you will need an Ellen Meyer flask with a stopper, dextrose solution 0.1 mole per liter, potassium hydroxide solution 3 moles per liter, and methylene blue solution 0.1%. In a dropper bottle. First, place 30 milliliters of the dextrose solution in the Elemeyer flask. Then, add 30 milliliters of potassium hydroxide solution to the flask. Add one or two drops of the methylene blue indicator to the flask with a dropper. Place the stopper firmly on the flask and swirl the solution. The solution should be blue. I stopped swirling the solution and it was still blue. Then you have to place the flask on the table and allow the solution to rest and then observe what happens. After waiting a few minutes, the solution turned clear. Before I swirled the flask, the methylene blue was in its reduced state, leaving it colorless. As I began to swirl it, it turned blue because that was the methylene blue in its oxidized form. After a while, the glue closed and the solution reduced the methylene blue back to its reduced state, colorless. Thanks for watching my video. Please give this a thumbs up. My PBL website will be linked down below and will include extensive information about this project.